Hey guys, I've been playing through Persona 4 Golden in real time for the last 296 days, which brings us on to today, February 1st. So, let's go ahead and see what the gang is up to today. Yo! It's so dang cold. Can't believe it's February already. Oh, you know how exams are next week? What do you say we go skiing this time for real once that's all over? We do have those holidays coming up after all. You gotta see what Inaba has in the winter. I mean, that sounds like a good time. Let's go ahead and say, yeah, let's do it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It'll be this winter's last hurrah. Let's make the most of it. I'll shoot you an email once the plans are nailed down. Make sure you don't catch another cold, okay? Okay, should be a good time. Still got that confident stroll down the stairs. Senpai! You're not busy today, right? No plans at all, right? There's something I want to talk to you about, and uh, you're the only one I can rely on, so I hope you can make it. It seems Kanji wants to talk about something. Maybe we should hang out with Kanji after school. I mean, we haven't evolved his persona, I definitely would like to, so sounds like a good deal. And that's it for today's lesson. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to sigh. When I see a snowy landscape, I just can't get those beautiful pyramids out of my head. Oh, hey, Polo. Nice to see you. Hmm, don't tell me you don't know what the pyramids really used to look like. You don't, do you, Mr. Narukami? What color were the pyramids originally? I mean, I feel like gold kind of makes sense because it's, like, yellowish or tan now. But she said the snowy landscape reminds her of it, so I'd say white is maybe more practical. You have the answer you think is correct. Good for you. Yes, the pyramids were white. The pyramids, when first built, were covered in beautiful white limestone casing stones. However, the outer limestone was stolen, revealing what it looks like now. When I see a white landscape, I can't help but think of that tragic history. Those robbers. If I was there then, I would have cursed them. Oh, just kidding. You gave the correct answer. Your knowledge has increased. Okay, should be on track to ace those exams next week. Classes have ended for today. Your advancement exams will begin next week. It will be the last test to take at the school. Alright, let's go ahead, follow up, and spend some time with Kanji. Yo. You're bored today, right? Right? You're seriously like the only one I can talk to, heart to heart. Think of it as helping a friend out. I'm begging ya. It seems Kanji wants to talk about something. I mean, was it that obvious? Will you spend the afternoon with Kanji? Let's do it. Alright, then let's hurry and get somewhere we can be alone. Maybe don't phrase it like that. Wait, that ain't what I meant. I just want to talk about something that ain't for anyone else to hear, so... Uh, anyways, let's go already. We're heading to your place. Kanji will be coming over to your place. I mean, I guess if he insists. Your room. Kanji asked to come over despite any plans he had, so you brought him here. Sorry for barging in like this. I wanted to talk to you, or, well, more like I wanted to ask you something. Kanji is fidgeting for some reason. You know, well, uh, it, it's about a present. What would be, uh... Oh, okay, let me start over. I want to give someone a present. I don't know what they'd like, so I thought I'd ask for your advice. It, it, it's for a woman. Okay, I kind of feel like I know where this is going. Let's go ahead and say... You know, we'll be alone, I'll joke you about and say, decide to confess your love. Confess my love? T t to who? Kanji is sweating. Um, I want to give it to Ma. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought, I was a little concerned, I thought I was trying to move in on Naoto, I was like, oh boy, but, I mean, <laughs> I don't want to be too defensive about his mother as well, be like, hey, you're, uh, you're moving in on my girl? Let's go ahead and say... Well, I kind of feel like none of these are, like, super great answers. I guess let's go ahead and get some more info and say, why are you asking me? Well, you strike me as a chick magnet. I thought you might know all about what women like. I mean, she's not wrong. Kanji seems troubled. I am begging you. I have no idea what to give her. I want to be damn sure Mom's happy with it. I should tell you, Ma went to the hospital. Okay, that really 
shifted oh, gears quickly. Just for an exam, though. She's out already and doing oh. totally fine. But the tests <laughs> All right. seem like they Not were the best at phrasing her, things. So I want to give her something like a hospitality award. Oh, wow. I'm, like, there's no way I'm going to say that and just, like, dump on him when he's down. Let's go ahead and say how nice of you. Stop teasing me. Kanji's face is completely red. I went to go visit her while she was there. It was hard for me to see her in that hospital, though. When I was there, Ma looked at me and said, You've changed. She said, Your father and I are proud of you, son. Kanji's eyes are slightly red. Pretty funny, huh? I ain't too bright and I keep causing her all this trouble. But she says she's proud of me. Kanji's voice is shaking. I mean, I'm, I'm the one who should be proud of her. She raised a punk like me without a single complaint and worked herself to the bone, and no one thanked her for it. I just... I feel like I need to give her some encouragement now and then. <laughs> Getting kind of leaky here. Ma was right, though. I have changed. It was because I got to know you guys. Until I met you, I was so mad that people saw me as some weirdo that I tried to get back at anyone who looked at me funny. I wasn't holding my head up high. I wasn't proud of myself. But getting to know you better made me realize something. I don't think it matters what kind of guy I am. As long as I can hold my head up high, Ma's going to be proud of me. Still, I want to become someone that Ma and you guys can be proud of. So I'm going to spend my life keeping myself in check to make sure I don't lose my way again or start lying to myself. Kanji is smiling cheerfully. Yeah, I feel like Kanji keeps having breakthroughs and accepting himself and just being who he is. Kanji's heart, having developed over this difficult year, attains greater power. Hmm. Kanji's persona has been reborn again. Rokuten Mao has transfigured into Takeji Zouten. Huh. Takeji Zouten learned the man's way. This persona cannot remember any more skills. Please choose one to forget. May inflict down slash dizzy on all foes. Okay. I mean, dizzy doesn't sound super great, but like downing enemies, even in, especially if they don't have any status weaknesses, I think that could be pretty useful. Let's see if there's anything that we can get rid of. Electric boost, that's nice, but not super essential. Healing the whole, hate, the whole party's HP, that does seem pretty good. And then restoring 6% HP, that is useful because he's going to be using mostly physical skills that burn through his health. Severe physical to one foe, increase party's attack, heavy electric, decrease all foe's hit evasion rate. Uh, okay, I feel like we can kind of get rid of this one because we have the attacks, which is useful. But I don't feel like, like, we kind of just need it for boss fights. And I feel like during boss fights, it's going to be using physical attacks anyway. So, boosting electricity isn't super essential, so we'll go ahead and replace that one. Forget electric boost. The man's way has replaced electric boost. New power. This must be another me, huh? And I'll keep changing however I want to from here on out. I... I want to fight for others instead of just for myself. I'd rather die protecting something that matters than worrying if I can win the fight. I think that's the way to be. And one day, I hope I can be strong enough to protect you too. Let's say, don't get your hopes up. Sounds like really throwing a wet blanket on him at the end. Let's say I'll be counting on you. I mean, I will be bringing him in the party. It takes a hell strong so. man to say that, Sensei. We've got a long way to go. Kanji is smiling with fierce determination. Well then, let's make that gift. I mean, I don't think we ever actually decide on what that My was going to be. To Ma. I got some tools for you to work with too. I mean, I feel like Kanji knitting now, her so doll would definitely warm for be, when good. She goes to sleep would be good. Oh, I mean that too. Hey, how about a crocheted hugging pillow? You can put a hot water bottle inside. I'll call it a a warmy yarny. <laughs> if we work together on it, it'll be a masterpiece. Ma always seems to like it when I tell her stories about you, so she'll love this. Hmm. Man, glad I asked you, Senpai. Wasn't this a great idea? Looks like we got an in with her mom already. You spent an unexpectedly long time with Kanji. I mean, knitting's no, not a quick thing. Night fell and you saw Kanji off. Welcome back. 
I went shopping today. The fridge is full of food. There's a delivery for you. I left it on the table. It's the Wizard's Mark combo you purchased from the TV show. Obtained Wizard's Mark and Longevity Pill. In addition, you obtained a bonus price sticker. You can work as a janitor at the hospital today. Alright, let's go ahead. Now that we've got the evening free, let's go ahead and find someone to spend it with. Okay, Naoto, that's a pretty good choice. There's also Yuhiko. Oh, and I once again. And there's Ko. It's also nice. And it looks like Yosuke's at the top, but we spent time with him yesterday. Let's go ahead and spend some more time with Naoto. Sorry, Yukiko. <laughs> hey, Yukiko, can you tell yeah. Naoto I want to hang out with her? Oh, Yusan, it gets quite chilly in this district at night, doesn't it? I just finished my shopping. If you don't mind, perhaps we could stay and chat? Naoto seems bored. She might appreciate if you talked with her. You already have an inseparable bond with Naoto. You feel that you can't get any closer to Naoto than you are now, but it may be nice to spend the evening with her. Should you spend the evening with Naoto? Let's do it. Thank you. Well then. Naoto seems happy. Um. You realize it's almost Valentine's Day. How strange. Never had much meaning for me until now. <laughs> but when I think about you, I feel as if it's a very special day indeed. Actually, it isn't only Valentine's Day. Since meeting you, every day has seemed special to me. I wonder if I should be worried that every day is so special now. Say... You know, stay upbeat and say that's a good problem to have. <laughs> Do you think so? It's strange, but when you say things like that, I don't hesitate to believe it. Naoto seems embarrassed. Uh, about the chocolate, don't get your hopes up too much. This is my first time making chocolate, and I keep overthinking it. Um, but I won't give up I'll until try. I'm satisfied. I hope you'll do me the honor of accepting it come Valentine's Day. She's making it herself? I mean, that's definitely, like, a nice gesture. You enjoyed your idle chat with Naoto. You feel your relationship with Naoto has grown stronger. Oh. Goodness, when did it grow so late? Time evidently flies when I'm with you. We never seem to have enough time together. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like you to have this. Please accept it. You received Naoto's candy from Naoto. It isn't much, I know, but it, would, but it would cheer me up to know you found a use for it. I mean, I think eating Good it night. is probably what I'm gonna go with. You saw Naoto off and then went home. Alright, evolved another persona and spent some time with Naoto. Sounds like a pretty good day. But that's gonna wrap up the gameplay portion for today and bring us on to shuffle time. Today's card is the Page of Wands in the upright position. So let's go ahead and see what Faye has in store for us. When we see the Page of Wands, we see a youth with enormous excitement and curiosity for the world. He knows what to do, he has the passion to succeed, but due to his inexperience and maybe a little fear of the unknown, his ideas remain abstract. He identifies new worlds to explore, new opportunities he could take advantage of quite easily, and he's even gifted with the big picture vision needed to succeed. Even with all of this, he still has the tendency to either remain dormant or get easily distracted with one idea after the other. If he doesn't learn to control this, it might be that he squanders the opportunities to advance himself. When you get the Page of Wands, it simply means something is within you, something that triggers you to make discoveries, indulge in investments, or take the next advancement in life. You could be just about to take a move on a certain idea, but some conflicting messages keep coming to your mind and you get discouraged. This card resembles your inner battles, which are preventing you from experiencing your hero from expressing your heroism to the world, to let the world know that you exist for a reason. If you are wise enough, this card is normally a trigger of courage. It should make you overcome the personal discouragements and move forward boldly to launch your ideas in the real world. Remove the fear, gather your resources, and do something. Let the world know that you are there and you have no jokes about moving forward in the path that you choose. Conquer every obstacle, let your ideas shine, and be known to the world because this card indicates a level of success that can only be achieved when courage is deployed. Okay. If there's anything you've been thinking of doing, then I say now is a pretty good time to go for it. Like when I started this series, committing to doing this for so many days in a row, definitely was a big, a big commitment. But I'm definitely glad I've been doing it, and so I, I don't think that should have let it stop me, and it didn't. And I think it shouldn't let you stop. I don't think it should let it stop you either. But that's going to be another card down and another day done. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Feel free to subscribe if you'd like to follow along with the journey, which also I think later tonight I'll be trying out Persona 3 Reload, which I'm really looking forward to. 
So if you don't want to miss my first experience trying it out, make sure you subscribe and stay tuned. But either way, thanks for watching. I truly appreciate it. I'll see you guys tomorrow.